Hello and welcome. In this video, we will discuss how you can use Monte Carlo simulations to produce a future prediction on investments. We have two different investments, one with an average return of 5% and a standard deviation of 1%, and one with an average of 4.8% and a standard deviation of 40%. Now we are interested to find the investment that is most likely to produce a return of at least 5%. We start by simulating a potential outcome for each investment. To do this, we assume the underlying distribution for the investment is a normal one, and hence we would like to simulate a random draw from a normal distribution with an average of 5% and a standard deviation of 1%, and respectively an average of 4.8% and a standard deviation of 40%. We type norm.inf of rand, and next we insert the parameters. First the average and then the standard deviation. Now we have a simulation for the first investment and we copy this formula down to simulate an investment outcome for the second investment as well. The second step is to produce several simulations of these potential investment outcomes. We will produce 10,000 simulations as this is a common number of simulations to obtain a reliable result. We insert the series 1 to 10,000 on the worksheet. This can be done by typing 1, selecting that cell and navigating to the fill button on the home tab. Here you select series and the series box opens. Next you choose to put the series in columns. You want a linear series with step value 1 and stop value 10,000. Then press OK and the numbers 1 to 10,000 appear on the screen. Next to number 1, you refer to the investment outcome of the first investment and next to that, you refer to the investment outcome of the second investment, as these are the values that you would like to produce simulations of. To create the actual simulations now, you select all 10,000 numbers and the investment outcomes. This can be done by making use of Ctrl Shift in combination with the right arrow, and next Ctrl Shift in combination with the down arrow. Next you navigate to the Data tab, to What If Analysis, and Data Table. Here the row input cell can be left blank and for the column input cell, you select whatever empty cell on the worksheet. Excel will use this cell to make its calculations for the simulations. The last step is to verify the probability of a return above 5% for each investment. To do this, we count the number of times a simulated outcome is higher than 5% and then divide this by 10,000. To do the counting, we use the COUNTIF function. Here we need to insert the range and criteria. The range is the simulated numbers and the criteria is higher than or equal to 0 0.05, which we need to put in between quotes. Then we divide by 10,000 and press enter. We see that the probability of having a return higher than 5% is slightly higher for the first investment. So we will choose this one over the other. By refreshing the workbook, you can do the Monte Carlo simulations a few times and see that we always prefer the first investment. Refreshing the workbook can be done by pressing F9. If we are interested in having a return higher than 5.5%, we can do the calculations again for 5.5% instead of 5. As you can see, in this case you would be better off choosing the second investment. This concludes our tutorial on Excel Monte Carlo simulations for investment. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more Excel or software related tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.